hi everyone this update about bitcoin bitcoin is still trying to move higher prices you guys remember i talked about previously triangle pattern we seeing the reaction price is started to move lower after that today how the stock market react we seeing the reaction price is starting to move higher right now so it's still bitcoin is holding that's the best scenario and today is a very special day because binance they started the tax burn in uh, Luna Classic. If you did not check the previous video about the Luna Classic, guys, check it out so then you will understand what is really happening in the Luna Classic if you're interested. So, uh, the scenario right now, you guys can see Bitcoin, oil, gold, NASDAQ, uh, sorry, SP 500 and NASDAQ. So, we're going to compare with all of this one and Bitcoin is still holding, and the rest of is in a disaster and very danger zone. So uh, the scenario, if someone want to draw this 29 and together here, so still he can do it, the large of uh, triangle pattern, if he love to follow up like that way, we'll check it out. It doesn't matter because already it's moved and we are trying to break two times in upper part of this level. So still we can consider that move. That's what I, uh, I just extended that the, triangle pattern guys so in case of this is the triangle pattern first of all i will give you that idea b c d e already peaked so we can see the downside potential only guys even though right now potential to move downwards we'll check it out so i will little bit extended we need to check on the because the previous scenario is over already right now we little bit extended the triangle pattern so apart from the triangle pattern is still bitcoin trying to break 1, uh, 19,337 that's my clear confirmation you guys remember i give this price target several times i told everyone previously till the time we are above this price we are in a very best zone you guys remember the previously again the same story trying to break and jump very hardly we jump from there to move higher after that drop it in the same place even previously if you guys check the same scenario when we are in the bottom of this line it's very difficult to break that level guys so that's why still we're seeing little longer time we are struggling in here the same particular area we'll see how we will break and when we are going to break and the next scenario next month we are going to see more below than the 8.3 core inflation report guys so that's what i want to tell you the inflation you guys are going to see this clear picture before 13 days 16 days i am going to tell you inflation report we are going to see the lower than the year to date yeah okay guys year to date we are going to see lower numbers because oil price achieve what i want to achieve month wise guys we're seeing the real reaction is almost below than my expectation so we are going to see core inflation report going to be 8.3 below that meaning 8 point below that's what my expectation and then oh either 8 either below than the 8 that's what i want to tell you so we can see the real result when the oil prices dropped along with the oil prices today you guys can see pretty much making double top gold price also dropping drastically and gold market now people are pe people ready to buy a lot of golds and the physical golds that's the rain scenario because of this one and almost hit uh, in here where I'm staying in Dubai so uh, I seen the peak in a gram 220 235 dirhams so right now i hopefully it's below than the 290 as well so anyway this is the peak we're seeing the double top and right now started to move lower my expectation to land in between 1557 and 1373 for goals because in a goals for best scenario in the goals landed in this particular area because you guys can see we have a several bounce from here that's the sustainable price for gold guys because this is too high and is too extended by the way and the next scenario s p 500 is ready to make one more lower in bear in this bear market guys that's what i want to tell you 
the previously arrived you guys can see how S&P 500 moved this is the sustainable bounce everyone expected to move higher and almost hit 4300 in case of we landed in here again whatever the gains we losing it guys so if someone want to as a wave count the clear five waves move here if someone want to count so actually for me it's clear three waves move uh, right now so there is still we can see one more dip a very bad dip is there so if i calculate one two we are in a third wave guys third wave and the fourth wave is going to be the disastically in a little bit lower so this is my expectation for uh, s and 500 guys this is the wave why i'm saying this is almost one this is also clear three waves move a b c and here also same three waves move you guys can see a b c it's clear three five three so in three waves move down in here you guys can see abc uh, the first down five waves this is three waves move up sorry guys anyway this is actually miss so this one in a five waves move if i zoom out this is the three five three five three move you guys can see in a clearly if you zoom out here three four five so clear five waves move three waves up five waves move guys that's what i want to show you by mistakely it's move five one two three four five actually it is in four level in here four so either we can see four here anyway this is very small a wave count we can see the reaction of like this five waves move down three waves move up that's what i want to tell you guys so it's clear downtrend we can continue we can see the uh, uh, s p 500 will continue a little bit further downside guys so it's still possible to land a lower levels this is the wave count and nasdaq i already cleared it out everyone knows about nasdaq Nasdaq, my I give them my expectation. Nasdaq is going to be land at 19, uh, 9,766. That's my expectation for the Nasdaq. In case of Nasdaq landed, Bitcoin will land lower 16,000 level, guys. This is clear confirmation about Nasdaq and Bitcoin. It, there is correlation. Everyone know Bitcoin also right now becomes state stock. So I give you the idea about the next uh, month that CPI numbers uh, so CPI numbers going to be uh, below than the eight that co inflation so that's my expectation right now I hopefully I give the best idea and about the next week and what we are going to see the way I expected already landed Nasdaq and uh, uh, S&P 500 and oil and gold as well i give the price box we should land it below it's everything clear confirmation and we'll see next week what will going to be happen so that's week my expectation i would love to see the gold land at 1557 and oil should hold that price is not to go higher and oil should hold at least a little bit lower 74 so uh the rest stock is possible to let it relief rally so right now we're already seeing uh, s p 500 already complete the wave three and nasdaq complete the wave three we can start it to move a little bit relief rally completing wave four similar to you guys remember wave two and wave three is complete wave four again we can see the wave fifth to the downside it's take a little longer time i don't know how long it will take to move downwards like that for sure we can see the real reaction and till end of this year we are not going to see any bullish 
scenario price not moving higher that's what i need to tell you guys it's the clear direction if you love the content subscribe to the channel press the like button leave a comment guys that's how you're motivating me and help me to achieve 2000 subscribers level join with us in the telegram channel and join with us in the twitter page so we can communicate easily thank you very much have a lovely day be safe